Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the center of a circle. This one, obviously, we already found it because I already did the video. But I just wanted you to see this particular circle already had the center found to it because it was manufactured that way. And that green dot shows that this process that we did using a square work perfectly. So the short part of the video is all you have to do is cut a square the same size as the circle, draw two lines across, and you've got the center. I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is a circle that already has a center found. That's how it was manufactured. Let's assume you didn't know that was there. I'm using this so that way I can prove that this method works. So I've got a piece of cardboard that's already got the corners there. So you pretty much just go right to the edge where it's at. Pull that off. Cut yourself a piece of material. It could be paper, or cardboard, whatever. Make sure that it's loose. And then all you do is turn it. Do the same thing over here so that it's nice and flush all the way around. Now you have a square. So what we're going to do... Make sure our square is good, and it is. So now that you have your square that is the exact size of your circle, all you have to do is find the go corner to corner. So this is how you find the center of a square quickly if you're in the workshop. You just want to make sure you're pretty as accurate as possible. Because find the corner. I'm using a exacto or carpet knife because it's nice and thin, and it'll. Uh, if you use a marker, you kind of got to make sure that you're right at the edge, but there you go, right there. So, that center of the square will be the center of our circle. I'm going to drill a hole in this, just to see if it works. So, I'm going to take a marker, and you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but the center is there. We're going to overlay this and dab it with a marker and see what happens. So I've got this even on all the edges, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this in there. And if you look, that green dot went right on top of where the center marking is that the factory did. So, by simply getting a square of the same exact size of the circle, you can do it. Now, you don't have to use cardboard. You can use whatever you want. But... Where things get tricky is with three-dimensional objects, assuming you don't want to get real technical with things like the parabolic mirror. So what I'm going to do is show you how I take care of this. So what I have here is a parabolic mirror. Now, sometimes customers say, hey, can you drill like a two-inch hole in the back of it for whatever they want to use it for? And flip it over can be pretty tricky. But all I do is this. So what I usually do is take something thin, like this carpet knife, And just draw a score line bigger than the parabolic mirror. All right, so we've got two points right there. Make sure that if you do move it a little bit, just make sure you line it back up with both ends. Good again. You can actually move it out of the way at this point to get your cut nice. And I'm not completely cutting this all the way, but. And we've got our corners done. So we know where our four corners are. I'm going to mark them with the pen in case you can't see it. You've got one, two, three, four, right there. Now, here's the fun part. All you have to do, preferably have a work table where you can drill into it. And I'm just going to take some wood screws. And you want to go right into where it crossed. One. Don't put them all the way in. Uh, two. Three. And four. So 
So this is sewing thread. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you just tie yourself a knot around one end. And you want it to be to where it can pull this way without it doing some weird stuff. And you want to make sure that it's the right direction. You put your object down. And you don't even really have to have it down at this point, but... And then what I usually do is just wrap it a few times here. Cut it with by biting it, which would probably drive a dentist crazy, but... Um, and then just tie it off so that it's nice and nice and tight. You want it to be like, you don't want it to be loose. And you're gonna repeat that for the other side. So we're gonna take this, wrap it a couple times, and then take these and kind of give them a little, you know, because they, they can get weird. But if this dish is exactly where it needs to be, which it's not yet. Now it is. I'm going to make sure you're perfect on all the lines there. I usually like to lift one up, do the bottom one first, and then the top one on top of that. And that is going to be where your center is. Blink right there. So we've got it marked. Now if you were to measure this with high-end tools, you would probably see that this is the true center. And the cool thing is, if you want to double-check your work, all you have to do, once you've got the strings down, like say you're doing a bunch of these, right? because I've done a whole mess of it, you just rotate it and put it here, line it up with everything, let your strings pop, and they should land right back where it was. If you have any difference in that, then there's a problem with your first measurement. So, the strings are a little bit flimsy, to be honest, but this, keep in mind, this is like a really difficult object because you've got curves going around it. Flat objects, cutting your own circle, pretty easy stuff. This is the easiest way to find the center of a circle using a square. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. So one of the reasons why you may want to find the circle is, say you were making a Stirling engine, there's a lot of cans out there, like soup cans and stuff like that, that have different usages. Like this one, whatever it is, rocks, an energy drink, fits into this can pretty well. It's got a nice seal. So for a science project, it's not going to produce much energy. That would be pretty good as far as like a nice displacer. But you'd still have to find the center, which is why you would use this process.